Healthy kidneys filter toxins and waste from your blood. Kidney failure means that your kidneys can no longer do this, and harmful substances and excess fluids build up in your body. There are two ways to manage kidney failure, dialysis and transplant. The most common type of dialysis uses a machine to filter your blood. This type of dialysis, hemodialysis, takes place in a clinic three times a week for about four hours each session. Some people can survive for years on dialysis. However, there are good reasons to choose a kidney transplant instead. For one, dialysis can be exhausting. Most people only feel well on the days they don't have dialysis. In addition, the 12 hours a week for dialysis, not including travel and recuperation time, is a huge time commitment. And perhaps most importantly, dialysis is hard on your body. It can lead to strokes, heart attacks, and heart failure, and put you at risk for serious and sometimes deadly infections. On average, people on dialysis don't live as long as people who get a kidney transplant. A kidney transplant can sometimes let you avoid dialysis altogether. And did you know, you can get on the national wait list for a kidney transplant when your kidney function is only 20% or less but still working before you have complete kidney failure. Your doctor can tell you more. Imagine that kidney failure is like falling off a boat in the middle of the ocean. Dialysis is like the life raft that can keep you from drowning, but a transplant helps you get back to shore. It fully treats your kidney failure and helps you live a longer, better quality life.